Welcome back to the channel guys. So at this point you should have already completed your trademark application within the United States or your country of choice and now you want to go ahead and you want to register your brand with Amazon. There are a few main reasons why you want to do this. One, it protects your brand so other sellers cannot actually come onto your listing and sell that same product even if it's identical um, since you branded it and it's actually legally filed as a trademark in the United States or your country. The other reason why you want to do this is that you actually unlock A plus content, which is the diagrams and the images that you see in the product description of some more professional looking listings. So it really establishes your credibility as a brand. Um, it also gives you an opportunity to build brand loyalty. There are just many factors of why you want to go ahead and do this. We're going to jump in here now. And if you have not filed your trademark, I want you to go ahead and watch the video in the cards right now. That way you can catch up and get yourself up to speed because you cannot go ahead and sign up for Amazon brand registry if you do not have an active trademark that has been filed. Okay, so once you go here, this link is in the description. It's brandservices.amazon.com. You want to click get started. At this point, it's going to go through some eligibility requirements. Uh, we're not going to waste the time and actually go through every one of these um, as we'll be hitting them as we do the application. So scroll down to the bottom and click enroll now. It's going to ask you your country specific marketplace. This is the marketplace that you're going to enroll your brand. So this is wherever your trademark is actively registered. For us, it's the United States, so we'll click that. And you're going to be brought to this dashboard here. Uh, more than likely, you have not created a brand before or else you wouldn't be watching this video. So you're going to click Enroll a New Brand. At this point, it's just going over the eligibility requirements one more time. It's saying this is the, the information that you need. Click Enroll Your Brand. And here's the actual application. So the first part that we're going to take a look at is the brand information. Then we'll go to the selling account information and then we'll do the distribution information. For the first part, you want to add in your brand name. So what is your trademark name? We are going to continue the example that we had in our trademark video. So that was the brand of Vivere Golf that I'm trademarking. Type that in as it's shown on your trademark. Um, and that should be identical to what's on the application. Next, you want to select your trademark office. For us, it's the USPTO. And here is the very important part. So you have to enter your registration or your serial number for that trademark. Now your registration number, you probably won't receive this for over eight months, uh, but there's a quicker way to actually register your brand while your trademark is in process to be filed. And that's with the serial number. So as soon as you filed, you should have received a serial number in the form of an email, which I'm showing you here. Here's a screenshot of what that email looks like. And then in the subject and also throughout the, the body here, you should have a number. This eight digit number is attached to your trademark application and it allows Amazon Brand Registry to cross reference that with the USPTO database to ensure that you did file for this trademark. So what you want to do is you want to copy this and you want to add it in there. Now once you type that eight digit number in there, it should say verified immediately or else maybe you have to click verify and it should pop up. Now if you get the red text that it cannot be found as you'll see here, um, that either means one of two things. One, you did not complete your trademark application and you did not submit it successfully. So go back, watch that video that's in the cards and then come back to this step. Uh, the second reason, probably the more popular reason why this happens is that it may require 48 hours to change uh, for this to be actually reflected on the Amazon brand registry site here. Now what that means, even though you submitted your application with the USPTO uh, and you received your serial number, it could take up to two days for that to actually get put in the database that Amazon's pulling that information from. So be patient, give it at least 48 hours from when you submitted and received that serial number and then come back here and try it again. So hours was verified, it's been more than 48 hours. And then the next question is select the trademark type. This is the trademark type that you've inputted on the application uh, for doing a, the trademark. Uh, for us, it was the design mark, and then it's gonna ask you to go ahead and upload. If we did a word mark, that's just plain text. It's just gonna use this brand name up here, and you really don't have to worry about anything. For the design mark, you want to upload a image of what this brand looks like. So here's what the actual trademark for Vibre Golf looks like, um, and then I also add the TM for trademark. That means that it's being filed. Um, once you actually have a registration number and it's been filed and approved, you can go ahead and put the, the rights reserved, the little R with a circle uh, symbol next to it. That's all minor stuff. You can go ahead and just upload whatever you have. Uh, next is your product information, your website or any e-commerce site that you, you may currently be selling this brand on. Uh, for us, this is a new brand. I only plan to sell this on Amazon and these are optional. So I'm just going to skip these. Um, otherwise, you can go ahead and put that website in there. 
Next is by far the, the second most important part right behind the serial number, and this is the actual product image. So you need to have an actual image, a real life image of your product with the brand affixed to that product. Uh, this is very important. It cannot be computer generated, so you cannot have your supplier send you a mock-up of what that looks like and expect to be approved for brand registry. So here's the image that my supplier sent me after production was complete. As you can see here, it's not a high quality image. You can see the actual guy in the reflection, uh, but really what they're just looking for is that it's an actual product and then most importantly that your brand is affixed to that product. Viva Ray Golf is trademarked right here and it's a real image. Now trust me, Amazon will inspect this image to make sure that this wasn't added on after the fact. So, you know, for example, you have a real life image of this product and then you went in under Photoshop or some software to add your brand to it. They will inspect that and they will reject your application. So do not do that. At this point, we completed step one. Step two is our selling account information. First question you're gonna be asked, are you a seller or a vendor? And there's a lot of information here to describe what you are. Nine times out of 10, I'd imagine you're a seller, so make sure you go ahead and click that. Next is another optional one. You can feel free to check this or not, but this is your Amazon account ID. It should start with the letter A followed by a digit. It's pretty long. I'm gonna be blocking mine out here just to protect my Amazon account information. Again, it's optional. You can if you want, or you can just leave it blank. Uh, the lastly, we need to please provide the categories which describe your brand. So this is gonna be the Amazon category for the products that are gonna be used in your brand. For me, it's sports and outdoors. That's what I'll be selling under. So go ahead and click sports and outdoors. Now, if you filed your trademark for more than one class for your brand, select all the Amazon categories that you'll be using that brand in that align with the classes for your trademark application. So you can have more than one here, but for me, these are just for golf products that are gonna be in sports and outdoors. Lastly, it's gonna ask you to provide your top selling ASINs for each product category. If you do not currently have a product sold in this one of these categories, uh, you do not have to put anything in here. Otherwise, you can go and copy and paste that ASIN in there. After that, click next, and that is our final step here, which is our distribution information. You know, this application is pretty easy, so uh, we are flying right through it. So it's gonna ask you a simple question. Does your brand sell to distributors? No, I'm only selling these by myself on Amazon, so click no. If you do click yes, it's gonna ask you some more questions, but again, more than likely you're gonna be selecting no. Next is an optional question that we'll skip over, and then lastly is our licensee information. So you'll only select yes on this one if you actually license your product and your brand out to other people, other sellers. Uh, more than likely you're gonna be selecting no here because you know that is something that's more uh, of an experienced seller level that you would go ahead and do that to you know generate some more revenue and broadcast your brand out there. Okay, at that point, we've completed the Amazon brand registry, so we'll go ahead and we'll click Submit. You should be greeted with a, a thank you message telling you that your Amazon brand registry application has been successfully submitted. At this point, if you have another brand, you can enroll it by selecting this. Otherwise, select Done. Now, in the upper left-hand corner, this is new because before there was nothing here. Now we can see that we have an application under review, Vivere Golf. Now expect about 24 hours to get um, an approval or a rejection for your application. You should receive an email in the next steps. And then after that, you can go ahead, you can create your listing with your new brand of your product and you should have no trouble using your brand name for your product.